Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andy. I am a variety streamer on Twitch and I do reaction videos here on YouTube. Today we're watching episode 9 of The Expanse. So in the last episode, they finally found uh, who this Polanski was, which was Julie Mao. But unfortunately, she was dead because of this virus that was in the Anubis which was really sad because I really wanted them to find her and be able to speak with her especially Miller but I'm guessing that today we might find out what that virus is and hopefully more about the Anubis ship who actually sent it or where did it come from but before we get started don't forget to subscribe it really helps out the channel and don't forget to go and check out my patreon where you'll be able to watch the full reaction to all of these videos all right let's watch this there is scopuli oh <gasps> there's oh seven minutes earlier oh nice they're gonna show what happened if i had your kind of money i'd be sitting in a penthouse at the shangri my father's money and that's his weapon on that ship Belters need to know what it is so it can't be used against us. Okay, so they are going to the Anubis uh, now? Marsh and on the tap, brothers. They are scientists, not soldiers. They work for my father, they'll fight. They work for her father? Where did that come from? That's a gunship. What the hell is going on? All hands, we are being boarded. They're doing the same thing that they did in the Dondager. Yeah, it's the same. Bolden was right. What is in yours? Hands off that one. She's a complication. Complication. We're figure out what to do with her. So they they kept her because she was Earther. They just got rid of the Belters. Let's hope they take the bait. The sooner we get Earth and Mars at each other's throat, the sooner we get their eyes off the arrows. Yep. They want. They planned this so that uh, they could frame Mars and then Earth thinks it's Mars, so they go at each other. This is Lionel Polanski. I'm being held captive. I'm alone. Wait, but th then what Holden heard was her voice. But uh, Fred Johnson also collected the coordinates. Is this when the Donager exploded? She was in the Anubis when when the Donager exploded. Yeah, then she managed to get out, but by then. This was empty already. <gasps> she already has it on her? Oh, it's because it's all over the ship. And then she managed to go to the uh, Anubis 1A to contact Dons. This is Lionel Polanski. Mission has failed. I'm aboard the Anubis. Hold on. There's something in the reactor. It looks like it consumed everyone else. So Dons didn't know. Don didn't know what was in the Anubis. Locate her beacon and park it where no one else can find it. But so I just she, have to leave. She sent the coordinates to Don's. Don's probably sent it to Fred. I'll be there. And then Waiting she went to you. Eros. Those guys that were in the Anubis, were they Martians? Because they were not Belters. They were saying bad stuff about Belters, so... Right. So she got to Eros. She already looks sickly. I tried to keep a low profile. What? What's she doing? I oh, left no. a trail of breadcrumbs. A way for you to find me. Oh, so she robbed the guy so she could have phone? <coughs> contact <coughs> him maybe? Or contact someone? Does. Oh my he god. An answer. Oh, she must have felt so alone. She admires him. Maybe she sees him as a father figure. Oh, she... Maybe she can feel something inside her because of all the lights. Oh my god. I don't know how long she's been in this room. Don't know how fast this thing spreads, but it looks like it spreads really fast. Oh. He sees Miller and the bird and her necklace. The necklace. It has something. Was it her mother who gave her the necklace, maybe? Miller! In here. So they are going together. You're Good. Just, what are you doing following Julie? Okay, so they have to lay low because they are gonna probably go after them. All that stuff on her, we saw it before. 
on the Anubis. The Anubis? What happened to her? The cops are gonna be all over us. We need to get back to the Rossi and off this rock now. Yes. Take Miller with you. You guys can talk later. Just get out of there. <gasps> she went to visit him. I can't believe it. I heard he was doing consulting work for the shipyards, which I took as a good sign. That make you feel better about betraying him? Yeah. Would you mind if... I need to say goodbye. Don't let her. He must feel so bad because apparently he wasn't enough for the love of his life to stay alive, stay with him. And that just makes you feel so bad. Wait, what? Oh, was it here that he... That he killed himself? Oh, no, are you kidding me? She just, she's not there to say goodbye. She's there to get information. What? You're stealing his pencils? What the hell is she gonna do with those pencils? Should I be wearing a mask? Still yes. If I was in there, I would just like put the whole suit on. Oh my god. She looks like a swamp woman. I'm truly sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. But your daughter is dead. It's 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 her father. I was able to obtain a viable sample of the proto molecule. The radiation units are in place. We can still do what needs to be done. Did did he do this? We've come so far since that incredible revelation on Phoebe. Oh my god! It was her father! We can only learn by letting it learn. It was her father. To do now is say the word. It was her father who made the thing? The virus? See this plan. Oh my god, did he kill the he, he killed his own daughter? The hell was that? What is going on? Aerostation has experienced a radiation hazard breach. Ships are all locked down tight. Shit. Of course, something had to happen so they couldn't get out of there. So now what? They need to find a place to hide. What's with the pencil? Oh! Oh, no way! Oh, that is so smart! I mean, it's Martian stealth tech, right? Interesting. This is very smart. I like this a lot. Also, I want those pencils. What is this? Gunship? The drives that match the serial numbers? What ships were they installed in? Include Black Ops. Where are they right now? She trying to save Holden? The CPM stations carry the gangsters with badges. This was planned. They have assignments. How could they know a ship was gonna blow up on the docks? Are they gonna try and they use... Themselves. Are they gonna try and use the thing? The virus? On, on people? They are aligning them. <gasps> they are... They are using it on people. But what are they gonna do with it? What's the objective? Are they just gonna try and kill people? My name is Frederick Lucius Johnson. The UN believes I was involved in the attacks on the Donninger. That is not true. And I can prove it. Did he get the codes the from... The cube was recovered from the wreckage of the Donninger and the armor of a Martian Marine. It's a detailed analysis of the ships that destroyed the Donninger. It's the same one that she just found out. They don't know who this it is. This evidence proves beyond a doubt they were built by Earth. So it was Earth. Did she knew this? Who is the guy you're guarding? Dresden. I heard them call him Dresden. That's all I know. Dresden? It's a series Grigia tat. CPM offered a bunch of Grigas jobs here a few months back. Ah, that's why they went away. You're going to take me to the nearest shelter and you're going to help me get it. PM sees me with you, they shoot us both. Uh, he's got a point. Ah! Jesus, Miller. Get a man down. What the hell is this? Is this the Open CPM? The all right, all right. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll find out something here. Maybe they'll figure out about the plan. Oh my god. Oh my god, get out. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. It's the it's the virus, isn't it? I thought I saw someone with the with something on their arm. Oh no. Was that was that laser? 
The dead laser put something in them. Just got hit with a mega dose of hard radiation. No, oh, that's not radiation. Not bad. We're dead. Oh no. Well, that was a really cool episode. I really liked it. It was really nice that they went back to explain her version of the story of what happened. And so, like I had thought, Julie was on the scopuli and their intention was to intercept the Anubis. But what were they exactly supposed to take? Maybe they thought that there was going to be some weapons or some information. And that's what they were supposed to retrieve. So, of course, they didn't know that uh, the Anubis was carrying the virus. And they probably knew about the Anubis because Julie must have found out what her father was up to. Not regarding the virus, but of course regarding something else. And I don't know if she still had some sort of contact with her father or a way of knowing exactly what her father was doing, but she must have had some way of knowing his plans and that's probably why she hated her father because she knew that her father was hurting belters so she joined the OPA and that could be also why Dawn liked her so much because she was a valuable asset to get info on the enemy and what's more messed up is that Julie's father was indirectly involved in her death. I was just like in shock. Julie's father helped this group called the Protogen to develop this virus. They were the ones that were in the Anubis and attacked the Scopuli. And that is why Julie was spared. They probably knew who she was, so they kept her till they knew what to do with her. And they were also the ones who left the beacon in the Scopuli. But what Holden actually listened to was the message that Julie left. Then they destroyed the Kent and eventually attacked the Donager, but got destroyed together with it. And since no one came back for Julie, that's why she managed to escape. She then tried to contact Dawn with information regarding where the Anubis was and where she was going. And then Dawn's probably contacted Fred so he could rescue her since Fred has more resources. And all of this was planned to get Earth and Mars to start a war between themselves. And this would keep them distracted while the Protogen could do what they want in Eros. So Sammy is working in the CPM, which for what I understood is Eros police. However, it seems that someone has bought the CPM and hired the gangs that were in series to work as cops in Eros. Could it be that it was Protogen who bought them? I didn't understand very well what happened in Eros. So the police is obviously corrupted. They were hurting the people because they said that they had been exposed to radiation and so they were hurting people so they would get an injection that was probably to cure them from the radiation but of course that was all bullshit this was an easy way to make people accept this vaccination or injection or whatever but the injection actually had the virus in them but we could see that in some of the some rooms there were people that were getting a lot of radiation in them are they gonna get the injection as well or were they left there to die and does this mean that holden and miller have to get the injection as well otherwise they're gonna die but won't they die eventually because of the injection because of the virus or maybe what Protogen got from Julie's blood got developed into something else. So now it's controllable and it's not gonna kill people. I'm guessing that even if it doesn't kill people, it might be an easy way to either control them or turn them into something else, like mutants. It's still very confusing about what Protogen's goal is in all of this because in the Anubis, it seemed like they really hate Belters. So it wouldn't make sense if they and the OPA are secretly working together. My guess is that they are Earthers and they are trying to eliminate Belters. But isn't there a mix of people in Eros? Like people from everywhere. I couldn't see if they were separating Earthers from Belters in Eros so that some would get the injection and others wouldn't. 
So it's still a bit confusing at the moment. When Julie was dying, it looked like she saw a vision of Miller, a bird, and the necklace. What was that all about? What is the symbology of all that? It seemed like Miller was this kind of savior. I'm guessing the bird was Julie, but I'm not sure about the necklace. I think it was her mother's necklace because she was talking about her mother while she was dying. So it could be something related to that. And that guy that was in the crime scene, he was looking for Julie and he looked very familiar, but I don't remember if I've seen him before in one of the previous episodes. And I can't believe what Christensen did. Here I thought that she went to give her condolences to the ambassador's partner in person because she felt bad about the ambassador's death since she was partially responsible for it but no of course she had other intentions of course she was only there to try and get something for herself and she used this as an opportunity to find information that would benefit her and her objectives she's a very smart woman I've said this before, she's very smart, but she's scary as well. So she did manage to find information in the ambassador's desk, which, by the way, very smart way to put it. And like, she she got the, the pencils and I was like, why is she getting the pencils? They're just like simple, useless pencils. And then she put it in the, in the iPad or whatever. Such a clever way to do it. I loved it. Very original, never thought of that. But what's curious is that the same info that she found in the ambassador's desk was the same info or there were parts that were similar to what Fred found in that chip in Lopez's armor. My head was so confused because I knew that there's something big there, but I'm just having some trouble processing all of this information. <laughs> Fred said that the ships that destroyed the Donager were made by Earth. And we know that the ship that destroyed the Donager was the Anubis. And the ones driving the Anubis were the people from the Protogen. Which, if I'm not mistaken, they are Earthers. But that doesn't mean that it was Earth who built these ships. So I'm guessing that they still don't know about the Protogen team, crew, group, whatever you want to call them. And they are just assuming that it was Earth who started this and tried to frame Mars. But how did the ambassador have this information since Lopez was the only one who had that? Because the, jo the Donager was destroyed and Lopez was the only one with that information. How did the ambassador get that information? Who leaked that to him? There's a lot of theories here and my head is going places. I don't have any more space in my paper. I need another like four pieces of paper so I can like connect the dots and whatnot. <laughs> but it's very, very interesting. And another thing, I noticed that when Fred released his message and everyone was watching, I noticed that Christian's uh, boss was smiling. It seemed like he was smirking. But when Chris was watching it, she looked serious and confused and probably concerned but i don't know if she's concerned because they found out about earth's plan or she is concerned because she knows that they didn't have anything to do with this and now they are blaming earth for it i think maybe her boss might be involved in something and i bet it's going to be another surprise like what happened with miller's boss i know there's, there's something in there i know there's something there anyway that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Also, if you would like to watch to the full reaction of this episode, you can check the link to my Patreon in the description down below or just buy me a coffee to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Ciao!